What's going on world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at the moon in Leo and what it's like to have the moon in Leo in your astrological natal chart. So, let's get into it. What is the moon? The moon represents our emotional nature, how we nurture others and want to be nurtured in return. The moon represents our mother. It corresponds to our early home life, cultural background. And Leo is the sign of creative expression, self-actualization, self-confidence, children, selfhood. <laughs> um, it's ruled by the sun and corresponds to the original fifth house. So the, fifth, the, the moon in Leo is another one of those positions that I've really gotten to know well through my practices as an astrologer. I'm always observing. And what I found here is that on, on, on a soul level, what you have here is an individual or individuals who are coming into this life with a, a certain inner knowing, self-confidence, or understanding that they have a special destiny. Now, the, the, the individual feel this way, but how they come about realizing that is where it's going to differ. So, this person knows themselves to have been really special. I, I have a special destiny to fulfill. I know there's something unique about me. And part of this belief has its roots in past lives because the individual more than likely obtained some type of fame. They were well positioned in society. They enjoyed a lifetime in which the ego was stimulated. And now in this life, it's, it's almost like a continuation. So there, there, there's a theme of, of individuality and uniqueness here that the soul wants to express. So you really do need to take into account where the actual sun is because that sun is ruling the moon. Okay, so then the next part of of how you evaluate this uniqueness of this soul or kind of where the destiny will be somewhat tied to the family that they are born into. So what I've seen here is that Moon and Leos, although they may not be the oldest child, scenarios they will be, it's possible that the person can be the only child of a particular parent. So although you may be your, your mother's second child, you are your father's first and only child. And that, has, that holds significance on a deeper level. Okay, and I don't want to go into that. That's another uh, topic, you know, family karma and all of that. But it, what this can incline is a child who gets a lot of attention when they're younger. And there's a lot of excitement around the child's birth and all, more than likely scenarios it will be the people's first child so with all of this is setting the stage for this moon and Leo child to feel really special then of course one way this plays out is literally coming from a fam being born into a family where mom or dad is a celebrity there can be a history of the, the the family's well known so just imagine you were born a jackson or you were born a kennedy or an osmond okay this is the moon in leo so I hope everything that i just said makes sense there's a certain energy around this child so then they hit the real world and this so you'll have the scenario, because at some point, typically our first Saturn square, reality hits this moon and Leo child. Something in their life changes. They, they may go from having a lot of attention to not having that. Okay? So, nonetheless, I'm saying all of this because the what we have here, because it's the ego and, 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 and the moon, and these are very malleable parts of the psyche. A lot of of how this Leo moon gets expressed and its wants and its needs 
have its roots in childhood and the overall scenario that the person is born into. Okay? So, to clarify further, how you get the understanding a part of like your 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 past life karma like why do i have this leo moon and why do i have this sun sign you're going to get that through the family structure that you were born into and yeah the how things play out so i'm gonna continue so moon and leo moon and leo is one of those signs that also gets hit with the uh uh the stereotype. So Gemini's are two face. Uh, Cancers are cry babies. Leos are attention whores. Now, through deeper examination, what we find here is that this Leo energy in different planets are going to require different uh, attention. <laughs> but in the Moon and Leo's case, it is actually appreciation that they are seeking. This is someone with a good heart. This is someone who seeks to, you know, do bend over backwards for the people that they love. They're very generous. So in return, they expect they expect that back. Mind you, Moon and Leos, the expecting back is part of what gets you hurt. But it's norm you're not crazy for that. It's normal to, you know, expect that reciprocation, balance, Libra. So, yeah, Moon and Leo seeks not attention, but appreciation. These are the people who are at peace or a lot of things work for this position when they are romantically satisfied. And it's not always going to be that case. It can be romantically satisfied, creatively satisfied, and then really the house position and all that other stuff is going to give you full insight into that but for some let's say you have a moon in leo somewhere with uh, a neptune in the seventh or fifth these are literally people who function better in life when they are involved so it's kind of like that's why i said in astrology through my learning of it, it's helped me not judge people it's just like you know you got a a moon in leo and in the neptune venus conjunction i could understand why you keep seeking a soul me you know and so, Moon and Leo, that's, it'll be, that'll be a thing that they struggle with. So, what I want you guys to know is that at some point in, in time, though, you will have to act out what it is uh, that you're seeking in partnership or confront that thing. So, if you're a person who is consistently looking um uh, for intelligence and a partner at some point in time you have to actively express your own intelligence okay and it'll you'll be able to uh, attract someone who compliments that but the thing is that you'll be able to appreciate it more when when you are doing it's less of an expectation when you take account accountability of the energy okay so dialing back around to the relationship with the, the parents. More than likely, the individual is born to a really confident mom, a really outgoing mom, a mom themselves who may have a large ego. And this scenario is interesting. It's like a thing. It's like you could be mom's favorite kid. It could, right? Mom could just favor you more. Uh, you, if you're the oldest, there's a particular bond that, that is, is just there. But here's the thing, Moon and Leo, is that sometimes mom could be a little bit too much, okay? Too much of themselves or too much on you. So it's one of those scenarios. It's kind of like a, a thing. This could be, a, say you have a Moon, moon and Leo in the fifth house. Mom was, was represents a helpless romantic. Who, you know, you saw your mom dating a lot of guys and then therefore, you know, unconsciously, you kind of absorb that. So, you have that. Mom could be overbearing. But then, because the, 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 there's this high degree of expectation. Or what happens is a particular parent, mom or dad, depending on the dynamic, the person kind of lives through the kid. 
Okay, so it's, you could, it could be one where it's like, all right, I didn't make it to pay, play professional sports, but but this kid is. So very interesting. But I, I love reading Leo Moons and hearing their stories because it's always there. Uh, in a personal sense, Leo Moons, you guys need to be doing something creative, something fun. Check your sun, right? Uh, check your Venus for, for what you really love. Sell, like this is not a Taurus moon where it's like, I, I just want to have something consistent. No, Leo wants to have fun. Leo wants to feel like, you know, I'm growing or in, in some way experiencing certain things through, through their work. They, if you, if this is a moon and Leo above the horizon, if sun is above the horizon, real indicator of needing to be your own boss or take on positions of leadership, okay? Um, and then with that, so the next thing with this is that if you're a Leo moon and you're struggling in the career sense, <laughs> and you're like close to your Saturn return or like after it, some point you gotta uh, sacrifice sacrifice your ego, okay, or humble yourself. So if it's a thing where it's like, I'm never gonna work for somebody, and you you know you go and live your life, and you know you're not in the best of position. At some point you may have to say, okay, I'm gonna go work for somebody, <laughs> but I'm not gonna give up on my dreams or whatever. All right. Uh, so yeah, a lot of uh, it, it's a weird thing. So, with this position, your ego can blind you. Your ego can blind you if it isn't being expressed in the way that it needs to be. And then it runs, you run the risk of bringing that into your relationship. So, on a lower level, the less evolved Moon and Leo will seek constant attention if they themselves are not actively expressing their own ego. They will expect a lot more from their partner in terms of attention and all of that. So, yeah, it's one of those, one of those really great position. Um, I, could, I could go, but I'll, I'll stop here. Uh, this is my interpretation of the moon in Leo. If you have this position, feel free to chime in. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have subscribed to my channel, you can do so now. If you need a reading, click the description link. Send me an email. We'll set something up. Until next time, peace.